Well, can I see the list? Kung sino tong 11 na ito na pumayag na yeah, mag-toy po yung ating environment okay. doon po sa Masungi. They will submit to you those who signed. What? But right now? Sa, alam nyo, miski IPs, naaano din yan eh. Nai-influence din yan eh. Ay, dapat hindi. Ay, nako. Tell Ay, it to the Marines. Sorry. Protection po ito ng mga IPs kasi kayo na po mismo nagsabi, Mr. President, Madam President, and uh, your good sponsor, kayo po mismo nagsabi kanina, eh, alam nyo naman yung IPs, madaling ma-influence yan eh. Kaya nga po, we have this. Kaya, Madam President, power dyan, Madam President, DNR. Mr. Can we allow her please to continue? And you will give you all the time to ask a no, question. Madam President, yes. ako muna ang magsalita kasi I'm explaining eh. Tinagaw niya po yung time ko eh. I was the one explaining and my witness is the uh, minority leader. We spend leader. session for a minute. Now, last but not the least. Ito na po yung sinasabi niyo kanina. Masungi Conservation Area, Ancestral Domain. Sabi sa'yo, last but not the least, the Masungi. Ito, ito. Okay. <laughs> Bakit po pinayagan ang isang wind farm na magtayo doon po sa Masungi Conversa uh, Conservation Area? na meron pong ancestral domain issue. Ah, uh, talaga pong ano, there's something wrong with the contract with Masungi kasi hindi ho pwede yung perpetual. No, I'm not talking, sorry, sorry. Let me interrupt. Para hindi na masayang oras natin. I'm not talking about Masungi Foundation. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking. Mamaya na po natin pag-usapan 'yon mm -hmm. later. What I'm talking is just the Masungi Conservation Area. Mm -hmm. Not the foundation. Mm -hmm. So, despite the fact na ito po ay declared as ancestral domain at meron pong uh, nagkiklaim ng mga IPs at uh, under uh, proclamation number uh, 1636, it was declared as a, a sanctuary, wildlife sanctuary and grain, uh, game preserve at hindi po dapat pwedeng panghimasukan ng anumang commercial activities, mm -hmm. explorations, exploitations, etc. Dahil may marami po mga ibon dyan at mga halaman na endemic po sa Pilipinas. Mm. In 2020, a proposal to uh, measure the potential of wind energy was given to the state of the Yes, you mentioned them. Uh, what are we talking here about the wind energy that they want to do in Masungi? Uh, Mr. The, the wind farm. Uh, Mr. President. The Bena, Mr. President, Madam Sponsor, the Bena Energy is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. The Bena Energy that was given a uh, permit by Pambi to put up uh, their uh, structure. Ayan. You met my sports and measuring. Uh, In fact, if I may add, while you're doing your research, DNR Administrative Order Number 33, okay, May 10, 1993, uh, Masungi Rock and its vicinity, specifically bounded by longitudes 121 degrees, 17 degrees to 121 degrees, 21 east, west, anyway, etc. It says here, declared a strict nature reserve and wildlife sanctuary in with in accordance with the provision of RA 7586, otherwise known as National Integrated Protected Area System Act of 1992. At wala pa pong bagong DAO or Department or DNR Administrative Order or na magsusupersede nito. Sabi po, uh, wind and uh, Mr. Secretary Alcala, I'm sorry, Madam uh, President. Uh, Mr. President, sabi po yung wind energy is allowed because it's uh, uh, use. renewable energy. But wala pa daw permit yan. Parang mag study pa lang kung ano yung potential ng wind energy. Yun lang ang ibinigay nila. They cannot operate yet. Parang yung pambi, ang ibinigay lang is a study of the potential of the wind energy in Masungi. Huh? No, it shouldn't. It shouldn't be. 
uh, dapat in the first place, wala pong gagawing study doon kasi naghukay na po eh. Marami na pong structure doon. And I have pictures to show. What are the pictures? Ang sabi po nila, yung pambi, binigay lang is to determine the wind energy. May conflict po eh. Ewan lang natin kung yung binigyan ng put na ng permit to measure the wind the potential of wind energy kung dinisobey nila na nag Ito. nagawa na sila doon pero it it is based on a study lang Madam President meron na po mga istruktura doon nag-uumpisa na sila na maglalagay ng part by uh, wind farm doon yung nilagay daw po doon hindi part ng masungi sa pililya daw yon it's not part of the legislated protected area yung yes. pinaglagyan ng mga improvements na yon it's uh, uh, beyond the legislated protected area I'll help you madam sponsor what happened was ginamit ng pambi yung section 25 ng Republic Act 11038 in IPAS 2018 as amended. What does it say doon po sa Section 25? Special uses with protected areas. So nagkaroon po because of PAMBI, inigam po yung PAMBI sa batas na ito, nagkaroon ng amendment na para ideklara kahit isang protected area na into multi-use. And this has to be amended. Kasi it runs contrary to the spirit of the law protecting uh, They want to study and investigate what happened because of your contention. Can you give us yung study nyo para uh, a copy lang of the study so they can investigate when there was a, a violation of the law? The, the area kasi is a strict protected zone, uh, Mr. President, Madam Sponsor. And having said that, DNR should know better if it's a strictly protected zone hindi dapat nila panghimasukan yan. Eh, hindi dapat nila inisip kahit na renewable energy na manghimasok yan. I don't have any problem with uh, renewable energy na para eh, mag-proliferate sa bansa natin because me being the chairman of the Committee on Energy, payag po ako sa renewable energy pero dapat ilagay natin sa lugar. Huwag po doon sa mga protected area, especially po na meron pong mga ancestral domain issue na dahil misplaced po yung mga IPs natin na walang mga boses at walang mga kalaban-laban pinagsisipalang pa, pinapalayas doon sa kanilang ancestral domain dahil sa ngalan ng development aka sa lapi. Uh, uh, the SM, the, the uh, point of view of the DNR is in every protected area, there is a place for a strict implementation of the law. Uh, is, is, uh, they call it the strict protection zone. That was, there are also areas in, in, the, in the protected area, yung tawag nila multi-purpose, multi-use zone. Yes. So, hindi naman nila pinayagan do sa strict protection zone. Doon lang sa multi-use zone. Exactly. Ngayon, kung may other complaints na pinaalis yung mga tao, ganun-ganun, then let's have the complaint and we will investigate. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you very much for that answer, Madam Sponsor. That's exactly what I want you to say. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, sa, ang nangyari kasi, nagkaroon po ng multi-use zone, klinasify po ng DNR using Section 25 of the uh, E-NIPAS uh, law as amended 2018 from Republic Act 7586 of the NIPAS Act of 1992. Now, yan po, hindi ko, po, hindi ko na pwede contest yan dahil batas po yan. Okay? I will not contest. However, nakasaad dito para ang PAMBI ay payagan na mag-classify na multi-use sa isang strictly protected area. Kailangan Ito na po yung minention nyo kanina, Madam Sponsor. 
members of the PAMBI board, which consists of the NRA regional director, governor, senator of the Republic of the Philippines, who is duly registered resident of the province, um, a district representative of the congressional district, mayors, chairperson of barangay, regional directors, DA, NEDA, DOST, DND, three representatives from NGO or PO, one but not more than three representatives from IPs, ICCs, and then one representative from the academic institution, and finally, one representative from the private sector. Now, gusto ko pong malaman kung nasunod po ba ito na itong lahat ng nakasulat dito sa Section 11 ng Republic Act 11038 2018 as amended ng INIPAS. Kung nasunod po ito ng pagbigay po ng multi-use ng DNR sa wind farm na Bernas Energy. Bena Energy. Kung nasunod po. Nandiyan itong 11 members. Nandiyan lahat yan magbigay ng permit. Well, can I see the list? Kung sino tong 11 na ito na pumayag na yeah, mag-exploit po yung ating environment okay. doon po sa Masungi. Sa amin. Yung nga mga local mahilig. I need the list of those people na pumayag na exploit natin. Itong tinatawag nating Masungi conversation, uh, Conservation Area now, which is declared as a strictly protected area. So itong 11 members na nag -sign, members of the board sa PAMBI allowing the exploitation of Masungi, I need a list of those people and their signatures. Uh, and very important to me is yung pong IPs. Meron po bang pumirma na IPs? Meron ba? Meron? I need a list and I need... They will submit to you those who signed. What? But right now... Kasi pero yan, I'm warning you that yan, majority wins. ba? Kahit na hindi pumirman lahat, kung majority pumirma, panalo yun. Oh. I know. Pero oh. ang selection process ninyo, kailangan meron pong IPs. Ayun, on. pinafollow. Kaya nga, paano nyo po sinelect yung IPs? May I know? Oh. From the experts? Baka hindi naman pumirma yung IPs. Alam nyo, miski IPs, naaano din yan eh. Nai-influence din yan eh. Ay, dapat hindi. Ay, nako. Tell Ay, it to the Marines. Sorry. Tell it to the Marines. Dapat hindi po. Kasi, eh, wala ako, ako yung mga IPs. Sa aking legislated ako, protected area, yeah, yeah. nangyayari yan. Yung mga barangay, nai-influence eh. Kawawa naman po yung mga IPs, eh, kulang nga po sa pinag-aralan, kulang po sa kaalaman, Bilang, and then exploit po natin because we're saying na eh, madali silang ma-influensyaan. Dapat we try to help them to make sure that they will not be easily influenced so that gagawin po nila kung anong tama para sa kanilang proteksyon. Oo oh, nga, ang, oh, hindi siya maniwala na yung IPs yung pumirma. <laughs> Kaya huwag mo na sabihin sa akin, ako alam kong pwede yun, pero siya ayaw niya. Kaya isigay niyo na lang kung sino yung buhay pa. Okay. I'll help you. Would you mind if I'd help you? Yeah, you're very welcome, Mr. Okay. President. Kasi bago po mapili ang isa o dalawa o tatlong IPs na sumama po sa PAMBI mm. sa selection process, number one, dumadaan yan sa indigenous political structure or IPS. Okay? Ano po yun? It consists of tribal leaders that have exclusive right na para magpadala po ng representative nila kung hindi sila mismo ang sumama doon sa PAMBI. Number one. Number two, dapat dumadaan po sa tinatawag na FPIC, Free and Prior Informed Consent. Process ito na ipapakita na itong IPs were not coerced and were not Influence, just like what the good sponsor said, na madali na influence. Kaya nga po mapasok itong proseso to make sure na hindi po sila na-influence, hindi po sila na-coerce. Ito po yung FPIC. And finally, evidence to one and two, I mentioned, dapat may certification precondition or CP. Documents from NCIP, pirmado na nagkaroon ng tamang proseso at pumayag ang IPs community. In the absence of these three, then invalid po yung pag-recruit nyo ng IPs para maging member ng PAMBIS board.
niya kasi yung influence. Ano na may precondition na yun? Na kailangan niya pinayad. Yes, diba? Kaya, ipakita mo na lang mga papelis. Oo, para pa-convince niya. Kasi hindi ko kinatang ganun yung free, free condition notion na siya eh, diba? We, uh, Mr. President, we will just submit all the papers available to to the DNR about the action of the PAMBI. We just want to reassure you that it is not yet a permit to operate the windmill. It's just a study to find out the potential of the wind farm here in, in the legislated. Thank sector. you, Madam President. Thank you, good sponsor. Yes, I definitely agree with you. So I need to see the CP. Yes. Certification of precondition signed by the NCIP. Mm -hmm. Kahit na testing pa yan, kasi ang nakalagay sa batas, kahit na testing, dapat hindi. Doon sa mga lugar na merong issue sa ancestral domain. Kaya nga po dumadaan doon sa tatlong sinasabi kong steps. Without those, then invalid po yung mga nakapirmang IPs doon. So I need a copy of the CP na pirmado po ng NCIP. Because kanina lang po, Tumawag ako sa NCIP, wala po silang pinipirmahan na CP allowing the exploration, the testing of anything whatsoever commercial doon po sa Masungi uh, Conservation Area. Now, if you cannot show me CP, again, I will defer the budget of the DNR in favor of the IPs. Uh, can we defer? Do we have time to defer? Uh, Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Um, wait. Um, if the sponsor has a query, oh, uh, we suspend session first. However, for now, yeah, if uh, the DNR wishes to, uh, they uh, they can submit to us, to me, uh, a copies of those documents that they said they're trying to research now, and they are uh, going to uh, show me. Especially, especially uh, those last documents that I requested, the certificate, certification of precondition signed by the NCIP. Now, if they're saying na meron po silang ganon, then I need the person that will show me the CP na signed the NCIP, put that person under oath na yan ay valid documents at kapag napatunayan na hindi valid yan, Eh, siya po ay makukulong, makakasuhan dahil I just spoke to the NCIP people, main office and regional offices, wala po silang ini-issue yung CP. Now, kung sinasabi, otherwise sinasabi ng uh, DNR na meron, then let's see. Uh, yes, we Mr. Sir, recognize Senator Villar. Yes. Uh, they were say uh, the DNR was saying that what the IP signed is to make the study. There is no permit yet to implement the the project. So when you you cannot ask for the NCIP commitment because that is given when there is a project. But ito parang permit lang to study the project. So ang pumirma lang yung IPs. Yung IP representative. Kaya nga po, kaya nga po, para makapagpirma ang isang IP representative, dumaan po dapat sa doon sa tatlong process na minention ko po. Number one, dapat may tinatawag na indigenous political structure. Tribal leaders po ang mag-a-assign, mag-designate kung sino ang allowed na mag-represent doon sa tribal group nila. Number two, meron po yung tinatawag na free and prior informed consent to make sure po na ito po yung process ng NCIP to make sure na itong IPs were not influenced and were not coerced. And then finally, dapat po meron pong evidence of one and two that really happened, certification of precondition. Ito po isang uh, documentation from NCIP to make sure, to ensure na nagkaroon po ng tamang proseso. And this should be signed, na pumayag po yung IPs. And this, should be, this document should be signed by the NCIP committee. 
Now, sabi niyo po, ang ginagawa ay testing pa lamang. Even though testing pa lamang, dapat po merong paalam sa mga IPs kahit testing pa lamang po yan. Um, Mr. President, it is not the power of the DNR uh, to appoint the IPs or to see to it that the right IPs are represented in the PAMBI. It's the PAMBI who will decide if they will accept the representation of the IPs. So, hindi po natin marirequire ang DNR doon kasi may, may, may right ang PAMBI to choose kung sino ang magiging member ng PAMBIS. It's according to the, uh, the law. Mr. Pres Madam President and, and uh, the good sponsor, yes, kasi once na ginamit niyo po yung IPs, meron pong batas ang IPs sa pamagitan ng tribal group nila. You cannot just go to the IPs and approach them and say, hey, you, I want you to be... No, no, no. Kailangan hey, po may proseso so, talaga. Ang this, sinasabi ng DNR, hindi sila magpo-provide ng information na yun, kundi yung PAMBI. Kasi sila yung nag-approve na yun ng po, member when, ng PAMBI. When, exactly. So, we, the DNR cannot produce that document. It's the PAMBI. Yes. Of the PAMBI. Uh, Masungi. Yes, the PAMBI are the ones, base po dun sa batas na binanggit ko kanina. Kaso ang member ng PAMBI, hindi naman lang DNR. Marami. I, Oo, may yeah, local government. There's an issue, you. Madam President, uh, good sponsor, since meron pong issue ng ancestral domain at ang IPs po dapat dito ay ginagalang, nirespeto, nirecognize. So, so, kailangan po talaga kasama sila pa, doon po sa pagbuo nitong PAMBI Board of Directors para doon sa isang project. Opo. Okay. Now, sabi ko rito, sabi sa batas ng IPs, dapat Meron pong tinatawag na selection process at dumadaan po yan sa IPS. Tribal leaders ang pumipili kung sino sa kanilang kamiembro ang pwede, binibigyan ng authority, ang pwedeng mag-witness o maging member ng PAMBI. Uh, PAMBI hindi po pwedeng basta-basta uh, lang po natin hindi. ituturo kung sino dyan sa sa uh, protection po ito ng mga IPs kasi kayo na po mismo nags Mr. Pres Madam President and uh, your good sponsor kayo na po mismo nagsabi kanina eh alam nyo naman yung IPs madaling ma-influensya eh kaya nga po eh, we have this kaya Pambi, Madam President power dyan Madam President DNR. Mr. DNR uh, Pambi kaya nga po we have kaya nga po we have this Spendard um, uh, may, may we just request uh, well of course uh, Your Honor the, the sponsor uh, can we allow her please to continue? And you will give you all the time to ask a no, question. No, but I'm yes. ako muna magsalita kasi I'm explaining eh. Tinagaw niya po yung time ko eh. I was the one explaining and my witness is the uh, minority leader. We spend session for a minute.